the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Chair Wafula Chebukati and two commissioners want the seven judge bench to disregard affidavits by four dissenting commissioners, terming them as inefficient grounds to nullify the elections. Lawyer Abdakir Muhammad representing IBC commissioners Molu Boya and Professor Abdi Gulaya and Chief Executive Officer Hussein Majan said allegations that the commission was dysfunctional are false. We want to talk about a lot. Or want to... uh, through lawyers Issa Mansour and Paul Moite, Commissioners Juliana Cherera, Francis Wanderi, Irene Masit and Justice Nyangaya, had accused IBC chairperson of Fula Chebukati and a section of the commission of announcing unverified results despite conflicting figures in Form 34A. As the presidential petition hearing entered the second day, I beseech your person of Fula Chebukati, Commissioners Bolu Moya and Abdi Gulie, as well as CEO Hussein Marjan, have fought back through lawyer Abdi Kader Mohammed. At the end of the day, after you clear through the fog, what were the issues that the chairman was being accused of? They do not meet the standards, I pray that would be required for us to overturn the presidential elections in the general election of 2022 and send 14 million plus Kenyan voters back to the vote and spend immeasurable amounts in treasure. Mohammed further dismissed claims that not all the commissioners were involved in the verification of the presidential results following the rift among the commissioners. It will be absurd to say that the only elections the only verification that is acceptable under the law is by verification by the commissioners. What then would we make of the elections at the counties and the, uh, the, the tallying and verification at the counties and the tallying and verification at the constituencies where no commissioner is present? They also defended themselves against claims that they did not tally the 27 constituencies. What the commissioners actually wanted to do was what was stated in the affidavits of the chairman, the Professor Goulier, and uh, Mr. Molu, which was to moderate the results so that a pre-agreed or pre-arranged result can be declared. That is what they wanted. What they wanted was for a meeting to sit over the decision of who will be president. Not the voters, not Form 34A, not the polling station as the law is, but for a meeting of the commissioners at the National Tiling Center after the work had been done to moderate. That is illegal, it is unconstitutional, it is completely unacceptable. And this is in the affidavits. There were two meetings prior to that final meeting. One where there were visitors from the security agencies and the other from individual Kenyans. And those meetings were confirmed by all the protagonists. And this really was the scheme. This was the rupture. You asked yesterday, how come we had not heard of this dysfunctional commission earlier? Because it was a process that was going on and at the point of disagreement, is at the point where now we have rupture. And from that point onwards, those commissioners are part of the scheme. And this time, instead of announcing the wrong results, it is aimed at getting this court to overturn the, the results. In the affidavits, the commissioners accused the Cherera-led faction of pushing for slashing of Rucha's votes to force a rerun. If you look at the totality, what you get is that these good ladies and gentlemen were either negligent or unaware of their functions. Or, in fact, were not stating the truth as such. Because the law requires for the commission to hold a minimum of one meeting per month. More were held during the elections. They attended all those meetings under the affidavits. The vice chair and Mr. Wanderi attended the trip you were told about in Greece, where they, they went to uh, check on the presidential ballots. The announcement by, were made by these good people almost 70 percent of the time. In other words, almost 70 percent of the announcements done at the bombers were done by these particular commissioners. And the tables were there for everybody to see where verification was happening. And they had no no one stopping them from going to attend or direct if they wanted to direct. 
They further claimed that key figures in Azimio tried in vain to alter the results in favor of Raila Odenga for prime edition. I'm Gladys Mungai.